by now, I don't think I need an introduction, but just in case, welcome to Call Language. I'm your host, Easy, and let me show you how I prefer to grease my Volvo VNL 730. Let's go. We're in the outfit. We out here in Atlanta. Super hot. I'm dirty. Trust me. You'll get your fucking hands dirty like the rest of us. So this is what, what I'm using. I spent the ticket on this grease gun. It's um, it was two, two forty-five, and I bought the batteries, <clears throat> a battery pack, the, the charger, and two battery. It came with three batteries. I don't have a drill set. Say hi, Miley. Hello. That's my daughter. She's gonna help me record while I show you how to grease points. Here's what you need. You're gonna need WD-40, some type of lubricant, your grease gun, and a rag. I Got a bunch of shirts with stains on them. I'll use that. A bed. I put some cardboard down so I can lay down. My daughter will be strolling on the mechanic bed to, to record the points. Come on. So the first thing you're supposed to do, I start from here. Always clean your grease fittings. You have no idea how many of them I've broken and it's not hard to take off the grease gun but it's annoying you're definitely gonna need some type of pliers or like needle noses to get them off but i always clean them out so i won't break them then i would use gloves but i love this grease gun very clean stick it in press boom real quick as y'all can see that old grease came out it's been two weeks uh, sometimes I get caught up out there, but I usually do my best to do it every every week. I like to do it. I love to see that clean grease come out. Yeah, it's clean. Yeah, I could probably just get away with another week, but I'd rather my truck stay greased up. I believe that's the life to the truck, and I've heard that from mechan from mechanics. Grease and oil. The grease. I believe um, Freightliners don't got these. You know, they got the latches, but Volvos do. If you don't keep those grease, they will break on you. Do this side as well. This right here, one of them went bad, but not greasing it. Cost me, I think it cost me like 200. I, I changed both of them. It was like two and change. So you want to keep that in mind. Grease points, cleaning them. You see it? It's clean. Sometimes you gotta press it. And I see it come out. Sometimes you hear it click. Like a, once you hear that clack, that means it's full. You see it? Mm -hmm. Right there. You see it? That WD-40 kills that old grease right away. Or that like gunk. Definitely wanna do that to all of them. Like I said, it'll, it'll be a pain. It's not that much of a pain, but it's corny when they break so easy. This going. I heard it, clack. I see it, we keep it moving. Right line, guys, joke on me. Oh, you got that foreign. Is it expensive to maintain? And then something happens to their truck where it's like enormously more expensive to fix than it would be for a Volvo. Headlights, example. It's your fifth wheel. Manny, do me a favor, stand in front of the fifth wheel, stand right there, I have a call from it. Let me know when you see grease coming out through the middle. Okay. No? Oh, yes, yeah. A lot? All right, good. All well, right. Well, like, it's like pouring out. Yeah, that's fine. And your fifth wheel. This right here is important. It's somewhat greased up. Did y'all can see that grease right there on the tip? Right here. I greased the last week. This is... I may not grease the truck every week. If I don't, 
I make sure I get my fifth wheel though. This is important. You actually feel the difference. Stay right there. You actually feel the difference when you're hauling, especially when you're hauling heavy. You definitely feel the difference. So grease your fifth wheel that is very important. Definitely don't want to have to buy a new one. I feel it. The, the grease feels somewhat fresh. It's just as dirty. The one that's already on there. But it's very important that you grease your fifth wheel every week. Every week. I always keep a... a a grease on me? I like that. I never knew I'd get it to look like that until I bought this gun. I bought this gun today, by the way. All right, so right here, we on the passenger side. There's three. We got one, two. That's that's the one that's, that's important right there. You definitely want to make sure you get that one. And look, as you can, if you look closely, these two are different. I changed this one already. Or oh, that one? I don't know one of them. Got three fittings here on this side. You getting all of them? Yep. You sure? I'm sure. All right. I want to make sure I'm looking out for my peoples with bombos. Again, you see where the where the grease comes out through. Once you hear it, once you either hear a, a click or when you hear a click. Or you see it, you stop. Sometimes you might see it and I hear a click and then you hear the click after. Those are brakes. Got to be careful. Look, I see it already bubbling. Right here. I saw it. I hope you got that on camera. Yep. I, I, all right, because I definitely saw it. The little bubble right here. Again, this right here, I believe it costs $35 to get this done. My boy told me $10 the other day. I highly doubt to get your truck where cost $10. As expensive as everything is right now. And look, I saw it from the other side already. You see that? You see, so normally if I, all that shaking I did, if I would have never cleaned it off, it probably would have broke off. I'm trying to be careful with my daughter. But yeah, this, I don't know, I guess you would call this like the Pittman arm. I forgot, but I, I had to swap this. I forgot what happened, but I changed um cross member. This whole piece, this piece right here, I changed. And I believe one of the rubber grommets was, was gone on it. That's why I swapped it. I don't remember. But I do be changing stuff. All right, we got another one there. On the driver's side, we got a couple. I did the other side first because it's easier. This grease gun thing is amazing, by the way. Best investment. So you got the same three that are on this side plus two. You see it? This one? No. Yep. No. All right. Bottom. You see it? Mm -hmm. Right there. Wait. Yep. That one. You got the same same three on the other side that you, on this side that you do on the other side. Again, we wipe. <clears throat> this is the the most efficient way. If I miss something, let me know, guys. I'm always down to learn. I don't think I know everything. I definitely don't don't act like I do. But I had my boy do it. He done worked on Volvos before. He did it once. Um, and I got it from him. You know, he, he put me on. Now, as far as doing it with an electric grease gun, I, this is my first time. This is best investment I've ever made. This right here would have took me 30 minutes to an hour. Dealing with those manual... You see how it's blowing up, right? You see it? Yep. That's it. 
Oh, wow. That's it. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Right here at the top. I gotta clean my truck. I know. I know. Where is it? I saw it already. You see it? Mm. Look at that. And as you can see, you see it? Yep. As y'all can see, that grease is not even dirty. That's just green grease. I'm using red. I buy the cheapest grease. I don't care because. I grease my truck every week. Unless they don't got cheap grease. You see right here is dirty. You see how it's coming out a little. And it's not even that dirty. I could have waited a couple more days. But again, y'all see, I, I do my best to not wait. I'm, I'm worried. I actually, look at that. It's not even dirty. It's just green grease. Look how fast that is. Damn, moving right along. And I would have been way dirtier using that other one. I see a swell up. I'm out. And this is the transmission right here. Oh. You see it? Mm, yeah, I think so. All right. This one, I don't know where it's coming from. I gotta find out. I gotta call my boy and ask him. I didn't grease this one. Been... All right, boom. And back to the rear. I love these two right here because they're the easiest ones. You, know, you just stand right here inside the truck. rare i will smash my finger when i'm doing this with something um can't really see it oh, wait, wait, wait. you see it oh, wait. you see yeah that's it right there nope, i saw a pull out not hurry up i hope it it um Some. Right now, yeah. You see me? Uh, a little bit. You see the you see the machine, right? Yep. All right, we got it. Something I like to do as well. We got super dirty. You'll get your fucking hands dirty like the rest of us. We right, right here, the terminals. Clean them off. You know, let that, let that work in. You see that? It's good to hit that up. Sometimes you think you're having battery problems, but it's the batteries are dirty, that's the problem. Oh, see that, nice and clean. There's no corrosion either. So I definitely, it's been a while. This is something that you don't have to do with every grease, but watch it. It's been a while since I've done it. It's been about a month. And look, still, you don't see no, no corrosion. So that's a good thing. Brand spanking new. You do this to your truck, you'll have less issues, I promise you. Not that much, just enough to lubricate. And since we'll do 
is right. Make sure we we get everything, even if it, even if if everything is done. We're going to lubricate what I was telling you guys about under the hood, where the battery sends electricity to the fuse box. There you go. My bad, my lingo. So pop this open. I see that down there. Definitely yeah. want to get that too. I was having issues turning my truck on. And somebody said, oh, it's that little, that piece, that right there, something like that. It costs $100. And I was like, really? And I wound up greasing it. I wound up greasing it. And it wasn't the issue. Want to know what the issue was? My injectors. <laughs> my injectors. That job right there was $5,000. I think if I would have done a video on everything I've done to this truck, I would have got the YouTube plaque by now. We've definitely done enough. I want to say a lot. This truck has been amazing to me. This truck has been great to me. Definitely recommend Volvo for your first. But we've changed. I think it's... We might change them. I don't think it's time to change them, but the, uh, what you call them? Shocks. Your starter is. Definitely want to get that too. It's been, a, I don't know, it's been a, a month or two, but you know, I check it whenever I'm down here. Um, make sure it's clean of debris. It was dirty. I ain't gonna lie, it's been a while. You know. being somewhat I gotta clean this truck I wanna do it myself unfortunately my my um my power washer broke I broke it uh, I wound up starting it without it pumping water it was it was a year since I've used that machine and I I don't know how that went over my head not to do it to turn try to turn it on like that it's very annoying to turn on and yeah but we're gonna take it to a shop hopefully they can fix it if not we gotta buy a new one oh, we definitely need that wait where is it lucky for us wait, where is it? you see it yep oh snap Whoa. that was scary Don't worry, you won't do nothing. It did something because it's metal to metal. What? That shouldn't happen. You see? Nothing happens. Really? <laughs> and we're done. All right, so real quick, I just want to go through it. So this, you got um, a grease fitting right here. Do your fifth wheel. You know you got one right there. One right there, so that's five. Cause you got two on this side as well. Just go through it real quick, show y'all. Boom, that's it right there, you see it? Boom. That one right there, so you got four back, five back here with your fifth wheel. We did our battery. I just cleaned myself up. I'm not trying to get dirty again. Sure you do. It clips to your trunk. You got another one, six. Right? So that's six. Make sure you do your fuse box. Six. You got seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven. You got to see twelve, right? Oh, did we count that one? So we got five in the back. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Make sure you do your clips to your trunk and your fuse box. 
We said 11. 11. 12. 13. 14. And 15. You see it back there. And then, I don't know if you can see it, but not right there. It, your transmission. 15 or 16? I lost count. We got 16 grease fittings. So, grease your truck every week for to, to maintain it the best. As far as the batteries, I would say once a month. Your starter, um, where your fuses are, I would do that every once a month. Um, definitely recommend getting one of these. This would be one of the best investments you ever get. And I'll say go with something, you know, buy good stuff. I use DeWalt, Craftsman. What's the other one? Um, Husqvarna. I love those brands. I, I, I try to stick to orange and red. Husqvarna and Craftsman, but... Um, Craftsman didn't have one. I use that Lowe's brand too. Cobalt, they're not bad either. Uh, try to use those brands. They're really good. And it's the charger pack for this will work on the future drills that you get. A lot of future cordless tools that you get, it'll work. So it's definitely a great investment. Look at that. Normally this would take me a half hour to an hour, sometimes more because I got to play with that manual gun. But this right here, I'm so happy I bought it. Car language.